today I want to talk to you about something that sometimes I get really frustrated. I've purchased something from TPT or Etsy. It's a PDF file and I go to print it and it's too big for what I want it for. Because like right now I'm creating individual sensor bins. I'm not in the classroom. I don't have my big, huge, long sensory bin. I'm doing individual smaller sensory bins and when I go to print the original size, they're just too big. Or back here behind me, I have a small tiny pocket chart. It's not my big one that I have in my classroom, so I need something that's gonna fit into my smaller size pocket chart for what I'm using right now. Don't you worry. I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can be printing from your PDF file to make it smaller that's going to work much nicer for some of the needs that you might be experiencing right now. So stay tuned. Okay, so here's my PDF file. I already have it opened. So if you want to be able to print multiple pages, that's going to be the key. You're going to have to go over here to the sidebar. So see right here, if you click on the side, you're going to get this little ribbon where you have papers, uh, it looks like a flag and a paper clip. You want to hit on the pages. It's going to open up all the pages that are in this PDF file. <clears throat> so when you click on that, <laughs> you're going to be able to see all the thumbnails. So here's all the thumbnails. So what I want to do for my little pocket chart that I have behind me that I showed you, I want to print mine where they're small versus the original size. If I was in the classroom, I would like this original size. It's nice and big. The kids could see it from a distance. I'm at circle time. Great hunky-dory but right now I'm teaching remotely and I want it to be able to be smaller so I could show it on my zoom meetings my Google meetings whatever you're doing and I want to be able to print them smaller so they'll fit into my smaller pocket chart so now that you have your thumbnails open you're gonna come over and you're gonna click on the pages that you want and then you're gonna hit your control button and you're gonna scroll through to the pages that you want to print I want to print my W pages. I'm going to be working on winter in January and I'm going to be introducing the letter W on my pocket chart. And then I'm going to come up here to print. And it's going to have these three selected. Then you're going to come here and you want to hit multiple. So when you hit multiple, it's going to put two on a page. You can control that. If you want it even smaller than that, you can make them smaller. It depends on how big you want them to be. I prefer for what I'm doing, two to a page is pretty much ideal for what I'm personally looking for, whether it's when I'm trying to create a smaller sensory bin and I want to make my pieces inside of here smaller because we're doing individual sensory bins, or if I'm wanting to print for my pocket chart a little bit smaller. I prefer two. Then you can come down here and you can go landscape, which is going to make it even smaller. You might want to play around with it, or portrait. You kind of have to mix, you kind of have to play back and forth with those two toggles to see what fits for what you're looking for to be able to print. And then you're just simply going to hit the print button and it's going to print out for you in the different sizes. That's the key. You're going to have different sizes to be able to use several different ways. So, and that's it. It's as simple as that, you guys. Easy peasy easy peasy, but so much more helpful when it comes to making things smaller and you don't want it as large as what the product came. Well, I hope you found that little tip, a good juicy nugget of knowledge for you to be able to be successful with printing your PDF files. If you found it very helpful, please give me a like below and subscribe to my channel. Until next time, guys. Bye.